We you are know. the people we've been waiting yeah. for. This is what our yeah. ancestors said. And I'm going to further that story. We come from a family of storytellers, medicine people, uh, seers, visioners, dreamers, um, hard workers. And um, my brother shared a story with me. And when my brother first came to our area, he had a dream of uh, Stockwater Bay, and he didn't understand what Stockwater Bay was. And my brother's uh, is Isaac Day, but we call him Sinew, and um, I call him Eyes, because I see everything, and he's always a big eye in the sky, and um, but anyways, he told me this story, and he said, one time in Spanish Ontario, there was a young man, uh, um, and his father, and they were in Ojibwe, and they were very handsome, uh, the father and son, very handsome. They did everything together. They went fishing and hunted, and they did everything. And the young man had a friend, and they were already men by this time, young men, 16. And that young man didn't have a father, and he was really jealous, and um, his anger grew over time. And so the young man, killed that other young man who was very handsome and the father was really angry after he buried his son but he took counsel with the young man and he said to him you need to pay your penance and you need to stay with us for eight seasons two years to pay your penance for taking my son's life and if you don't, you will be killed. So the young man agreed. And after eight seasons, um, that young man um, asked to be in the family permanently because he grew to love that man as a father. The moral of the story is, is that we never forget that true love of the Ojibwe. And that is the first teaching that we're taught, is about love. So